the pet vet. And I'm Vivi, pet vet in training. the wizard lizard and I'm here with some jokes. What do you get when you cross a crocodile and a rooster? A crocodoodle do. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, next patient. Oh, Lizzie. Hello, sir. How can I help you? There's something wrong with my bearded dragon. Ah. Her skin keeps changing colors. Let me take a closer look at Trixie. Okay, she looks nice and healthy. Maybe we need to take a closer look. Yes, let's do it. Okay, I see, yes. This part right over here is a different color from this part right over here. That's what I'm talking about. Is it serious? It's not serious at all. She's just shedding her skin. When she grows and grows, she grows out of her skin. And then she sheds the old layer. Is there something I can do to help her shed her own skin? Yes, giving bearded dragons a bath can help them shed their skin easier. Miss Hands can show you how it's done with Nacho! Oh, Miss Hands! Okay, Fizzy, I hear you. I'm coming. I'm coming to help you. Hi, Fizzy. What's going on? Oh, who's this cutie? This is Trixie. And Trixie is about to shed her skin. Oh, do we want to show Trixie's owner how to give her a bath so that can help her with her shedding? Great idea! Let's give Nacho a bath. Arm game. So the first thing we do is fill up a bin with warm water. We add a little solution that removes chlorine and other things from the water that can irritate bearded dragon's skin. And when they're shedding, we add something to the water. This helps them with the shedding process. Before we put the beardy in the water, we check the temperature to make sure it's nice and warm. We want that water temperature between 90 and about 98 degrees. Okay, we put Nacho in the tub, and now we're going to let him stay in this bath for 15 minutes. You can let your bearded dragon just sit and enjoy the bath. What kind of bird steals soap from the bathtub? A robber duck. <laughs> Get it? A robber? Oh, I'm hilarious. When they're shedding, you want to pour water over the portion of their body that's shedding. Sometimes you can even use a toothbrush to help clean your bearded dragon. To help make the bath more enjoyable, you can offer them a delicious snack. This is a dubia roach. Sometimes they enjoy their bath snack. Other times they don't feel no. like eating. Most of the time, bearded dragons just like to sit and relax in the bath, as long as the water stays a warm temperature. If the water starts getting cooler, they may start wiggling around a little bit. You can always add more warm water to bring up the temperature of the bath. Sometimes in the bathtub, bearded dragons like to drink the water. After 15 minutes, you can get your bearded dragon out of the bath, dry them off, and let them bask under their warm light to dry off and bring up their body temperature. 
You can then reward them with a little food or a fun activity, like hanging out in a ball pit or even playing ball with a friend. So see how easy it is to give a bearded dragon a bath? All right, let's give Trixie a bath! What? Here's Trixie in her bathtub. It looks like she's enjoying it. She's staying nice and calm. Does she want a little snack? Nope, doesn't look like it. When she's all done with her bath, we'll wrap her up in a towel, get her nice and dry and warm, let her bask under her basking light to thoroughly dry out and bring up her body temperature. And then we let her have fun in the ball pit. Hooray, Trixie had her bath and she had time to dry off and get nice and warm. Are you feeling a little better, Trixie? Yeah. Great! Thanks so much for your help, Fizzy. And thank you, Phoebe, too. We hope you enjoyed your visit with Fizzy, the pet vet. Wow! Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Oh! It's the bearded dragon! What's his name? This is Nacho. Oh, Nacho, wait. Come back. I need to give you a checkup. Is that why you're here today? That's right, he just needs his yearly checkup. Oh, okay, and wait a minute, something's going on with his skin. And what kind of animal is a bearded dragon? So Nacho is a reptile. Reptiles are animals like lizards, like Nacho here. Snakes, crocodiles, turtles, and tortoises. And they usually have dry, scaly skin. Hello, me again. What's a reptile's favorite movie? The Lizard of Oz. Ho, 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 ho. Look under his chin. Some of his skin is coming off. Oh, oh, and that is totally normal. Don't worry, little Nacho. That's called shedding. And Fizzy, do you know why reptiles shed? Yeah, because they're growing and they need to fit into their new skin. They grow a layer of skin underneath and then they shed their old skin. That's right, they shed so they can continue to grow. They can't grow if they stay in their tight little small skin. And Nacho's whole body has shed. He just has a little bit left on his chin to shed. Here's a piece from his leg. He just shed this this morning. And here's a crazy fact. Sometimes bearded dragons will eat their own skin. Sounds kind of gross, but there are some nutrients in there. So when he's shedding to help him lose that skin, I give him baths and mist him with a little bit of water. That helps the skin to stay moist and to fall off. What do lizards like to eat with their hamburgers? French flies. I'm hilarious. I understand that reptiles are cold-blooded. What does that mean? Cold-blooded means their body is the same temperature as the air around them. Nacho here has a special basking light. He loves to sit under it and soak up the warmth. And sometimes they open up their mouth to regulate their body temperature. It also helps him to digest his food and get all the nutrients out of his food. Oh, what kind of food does Nacho like to eat? Great question, Phoebe. Nacho loves bugs like roaches and crickets. Oh, wow, okay, anything else that he eats? Yes, most of his diet is leafy greens, like collards and dandelion greens. He can also eat other fruits and vegetables, but just in moderation. For example, he can eat red bell pepper. Here you go, Nacho. Oh, there he goes. I don't think he wants to eat red bell pepper right now. Okay, Nacho, let me just look into your eyes here. Oh, they look nice and clear in your nose. Nice and clear. Um, can you say ah? Oh, wait, 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 I need to listen to your heart. Come back, Nacho. Okay, we'll just listen to his heart. 
Nacho, your heart sounds great! We hope you enjoyed watching me be a doctor to the special dragon! And we hope you have a fizzy, fantastic day! We will see you next time! See you guys next time!